Welcome everybody, it's day four, and obviously we're gonna bring you a video today about crossing the cost line. Are you prepared to pay the cost? That's what we're gonna be talking about today with Dr. Dan John Andrews. So pay attention, it's day four, don't lose it now. It's chapter four, and obviously which is titled Crossing the Line. And obviously once again, we'll start off with one of the quotes that I liked. It says, greatness will cost. <laughs> yes. If we settle for smallness and mediocrity, it will cost us virtually nothing. Although in the end, such actions will be extremely expensive. Yeah. So where did the, obviously, the thought behind crossing the line, what was the, the, uh, the motives behind writing this? And obviously starting off with such a great, yeah, great quote. I, I, well, again, I think it's, I think it's the link between uh, success and cost. Yeah. Um, anything that's worth anything is expensive. It yeah. costs. Um, the reason not everyone's driving a Mercedes yeah. is because not everyone can afford one. So yeah. it's 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 there's a there's a cost that comes with certain prestige and certain position. Yeah. Um, and again, the whole idea that if you are going to achieve anything, there is a cost factor to it. Yeah. So it's naive to think that um, I can achieve anything from, uh, you know, a good marriage yeah. through to a great business without this costing me. In yeah. some way, Custom. so uh, and again for me, there's tremendous sport and analogy, and yeah. we've just had the Olympics where uh, everyone loves the idea of standing on the gold medal podium. Yeah, but what they ignore is, uh, in some cases, sixteen years of training. Yeah, um, sometimes four years of training, relentless training for that one moment of opportunity. Yeah. people miss the cost in the glory of the moment of success. Yeah. Um, the church we're sitting in has 1500 plus members yeah. but 40 years ago when it was started there was four people yeah so everyone walks in and goes wow this is amazing sure, but yeah. they don't see 40 years of cost that yeah, has paid right. for this moment yeah. and I think cost cause yeah. is an undeniable link you can't have a great cause yeah without it costing you something yeah well you said a great thing here. he says the freebie culture that, we're, uh, that so many are familiar with, starts with a mentality that hopes we can get something of value on the cheap. Yeah. And that's the truth, isn't it? It is the We're truth. now the culture. We yeah. want something for free. Absolutely. Um, but I remember T.D. Jake saying something great. Louis Vuitton never goes on sale. Yeah. Bentley never yeah. goes on sale. If Absolutely. you want it, that's the price that you exactly pay. Right. Um, exactly so right. So what you're saying is if, if you want a great business, if you want a great marriage, you're gonna have to pay the price, yeah. No matter what, because it, it doesn't come cheap. True. But there's a great thing that you said. There was three points, uh, and I'd like you to break them down. It says before making a decision that that's what you really want to go for, whatever it may be, marriage, business, your Christian life. It says number one, it says, is it worth working for? Yeah. Number two, you say, is it worth fighting for? And number three, is it worth waiting for? Which I thought was really profound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So break down those three, because I think that's really important, those three uh, segments yeah. in terms of crossing the line. Uh, absolutely. I, I, th I think in the context of the book, we look at an amazing story, Jacob yeah. uh, falling in love with Rachel, and it's, it's all fantastic, and, yeah. and, and some beautiful expressions within that. Probably one of the most romantic statements within the Bible, where yeah. it says that the years he spent working for her went like a few days yeah and it's an incredible culturally difficult story for us where he works seven years for a woman yeah uh and then on the night of his wedding the women get switched and he ends up <laughs> marrying uh rachel's sister leah yeah and then he says you know you've you've tricked me and and uh, her dad says well work another seven years Don't so he know. works 14 years yeah for this woman yeah equate that to 14 years average salary of 24k yeah. a year that gives you a bit of an idea of monetary value yeah. that he places on this. For me, what was amazing was he valued Rachel so much in terms of his love for her yeah. that he's prepared to work 14 years to have her. Yeah. He's prepared to fight for her even in the midst of disappointment. So when when he wakes up with Leah, he could have easily sort of, you know, thrown the towel in yeah. or grabbed her and run. Yeah. But he stays within the boundaries of the culture and he says, okay, I still want her. I will work for her. I'm going to fight, yeah. Uh, and so he fights for her. Uh, and, and just the whole idea that he's prepared to pay this price, yeah. personal, I am disturbed at a culture that wants really expensive living mm. cheap. Mm. So as a pastor, I've sat with many couples who want great marriages. Yeah. But 
aren't prepared to make the sort of sacrifices. You know, lots of people who want to be debt free, yeah, but still want to have Sky TV, four holidays a year, <laughs> yes, yeah. a BMW, and a Rolex watch. Yeah. Well, you know, we've got to make some choices here. Yeah. So it's it's the correlation between what you want, yeah, where you are, and how you're going to get there. Fantastic. Now, to join those two things together, yeah. you're going to have to write some checks. You're going to have to actually make some sacrifices. Yeah. You're going to have to sacrifice something you love for something you really love more. That's so it. Say that bit again. That, well, I think that's really... You're going to have to sacrifice something you love yeah. for something you really love more. more. So let me give you an example. Um, if, I, if I want a new iPad, yeah. iPad 3, yeah. but I can't quite afford it, but I know that by cutting out my Sky subscription for a yeah. year is going to let right. me get the iPad 3. Yeah. I'm letting go of something I love, yeah. Sky package, yeah. for something I love more. Love I'll, let, I'll get what I want, but there's going to be a cost. Yeah. And I would actually argue this, right? If it costs you nothing, <laughs> you probably don't value it. Yeah. You won't value it. So my kids, you know, when iPods came out, I remember buying my son and iPod for yeah. Christmas. Now, that thing cost me a lot of money. Yeah. I had to sacrifice for that yeah. to get my son that iPod. Now, remember a month after Christmas, walking into his room and his iPod was lying on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> now, at that moment, I realized I valued it more than him. Yeah. And the reason was because I paid for it. You paid the cost. So, if you pay nothing, you normally don't value Brilliant. it. Well, you say a great, and just to close off on this point, and I love this quote that you, right at the end of this chapter, you say, the cause must always be greater than the cost. Always. The cause must be always greater than the cost. Yes. Um, just explain that last bit before we move yeah. to the chapter. Um, I, I've been married 24 years. I love yeah. my wife, Dawn. She's the most amazing woman. If I go out to buy her a present, obviously there's, there's a yeah. sense in which I'll go with a budget. Yeah. But the first thing I go with is... I know what she will love. Yeah. I will aim to get that. Yeah. The second issue is the cost. Yeah. So if I go into the room looking at the price tag first, yeah. The danger is I'll be cost driven. Yeah. But if I go into the room looking at the cause first, then I will be cause driven. Right. So in other words, I will try to make the cost yeah. serve the cause. Yeah. I want to please her. That's the cause. Yeah. If I can possibly sacrifice yeah. to pay that cost, yeah. because the cause is yeah. to please her. Mm-hmm. When when the cause is small, yeah. the cost is always high. Right. Yeah. When the cause is great, the cost yeah. is fantastic. Very very good. I think it's brilliant. <laughs>